Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain, another breaking news edition. You know, for anyone that doesn't know, I live in Hong Kong and that means when I wake up in the morning, it's usually about 7pm American time, which means there is bound to be some new Halo news. So it's always very exciting when I flick up Twitter and there's always something new. Today, it's Jazzware Spartan Collection Series 3. Now only about three days ago, I made my last breaking news video on the Series 3 World of Halo scale toys, and now we've got Series 3 of the Spartan Collection toys. If you guys didn't know, Jazzware has been pop, pop, pop in the last year. They're already on their third series of both their World of Halo, which is about three and three quarter inch figures, more or less in line with the old Star Wars toys, and their six inch Spartan Collection toys, which I think are a little bit more detailed. Sadly, being in China, I've not got hold of any of them yet. There are so many on the shopping list. Series 1 of this scale started off with a Mark 5B, a Mark 7, the Master Chief, and Spartan Cat from Noble Team. These seem like some pretty solid choices. First of all, they're clearly including one member of Noble Team per series. I mean, Noble Team, Halo Reach is like the defining pinnacle of Spartans in terms of like the fans. Halo 4 brought out so many different variations of Spartan armor, but Halo Reach is where the fans' hearts are, really, let's be honest. So we got Spartan Cat alongside the Master Chief. We had to get a Master Chief, of course, it's Halo. And then Mark 7, closely resembling the Mark 5B. Mark 5B, always one of my favorites as well, closely resembles Noble 6. And then in Wave 2, we got Jerome and Emil as our main Spartans. And then another Mark 5 along with a Gungnir. I mean, Mega Constructs has had loads of Gungnirs the last year, so it's pretty much confirmed they'll be an infinite. And this one also shows like a really weird removable helmet piece, which is kind of frightening, but I love that Gungnir all the same. And that Jerome, I just, I have to get it. I've got a lot. I think I've actually got two McFarlane Emils, so I'm not so concerned about that. But Jerome, oh, I need that Jerome figure in my life. And then we all knew it was just a matter of time until we got Wave 3. Now we're going to break this down in as much detail as possible. I got one of my friends, Jonathan, to help with all of the details. We got a really good breakdown. We'll start with the fact that I kind of like, it, it reminds me actually of Halo Heroes from Mega Constructs, where half of the figures are named, half are not. And that's basically how you pad out a line as much as possible. You don't want to release all the named figures immediately because then you're sort of struggling for ideas and also the unique molds of these figures cost a lot more money than just making Mark 5s. But this series is a little bit different. We've got two unnamed figures, kind of, Mark 5Bs, but the second one bears a serious resemblance to Noble 6. I mean, that is... That's my Noble Six. And I guess in game, he was never really called Noble Six because Noble Six, you could imprint your own Spartans colors and armors onto. So I guess this kind of more represents Thom from the Deliver Hope campaign, but either way, I'm happy with it. And the wave also comes with another two Spartans named characters, the Master Chief and Spartan Palmer. Yes, people start to get upset when there's loads of Master Chiefs. I might make a separate video on this because I just don't think you can be mad about it. Especially in Halo Heroes Mega Constructs when they have two Master Chiefs in two waves consecutively. It's the Master Chief and we're leading up to Halo Infinite. Like, kids on store shelves want to see the Master Chief. And also, these companies can't do spoilers for the game yet, so they have to just have these iconically named characters and they have to have the Master Chief. I'm not mad. What I think is a little strange is they've included Palmer. It's not my first choice on a Spartan I would have included. I mean, the community has never really liked Palmer. I always thought she was okay. But if we're wanting to include a 343 era character, I would have definitely gone for one of Blue Team or Fire Team Osiris. But you could get Buck in there and that would work pretty well with the fans, I think. But these figures look fantastic. They leaked kind of a day ago and then Jazzware released this gorgeous official image. We'll start with our big green boy, the Master Chief. He looks fantastic. Particularly, he's got some scorch marks on his chest, which look really nice. I love all that kind of printed detail and it kind of perfectly matches the Mega Construct Series 14 Halo Heroes Master Chief. Now, 343, they will release sort of press images to these companies, to these toy makers every sort of maybe quarter everything will be very tight-lipped. And I don't think it's a coincidence that suddenly the Master Chief has been released with Scorch battle damage. I think that will have been an asset that was added in-game, maybe into the cutscenes after he's been floating in space for a while. And yeah, this Scorch mark looks fantastic. He's got the commando rifle and he's got a grapple shot, which it looks like it actually works. And I'm not talking it's got a motor inside, but it definitely has some string tied off. I imagine the string will be able to come out and you'll be able to swing the Master Chief around your room. If that is the case, 
place, I got some great video plans. Jonathan had a really sweet idea for this scorch marking. He said, what if throughout the game, the more you fight and the more you progress through the campaign, scorch and tear and wear marks appear all over your body? Apparently, that's something that Halo 2 wanted to implement back in the day. And you could also maybe go to recharge stations to fix your armor in game. That would be pretty sick. We got Spartan Palmer next. She's looking pretty great. And I do like the color choices. The dark silver more closely matches Halo 5 versus Halo 4. She's got her dual wield pistols, which I really hope are well painted. The Mega Constructs Halo Heroes Spartan Palmer came with unpainted pistols, which was quite disappointing at the time. And I always thought McFarlane did Spartan Palmer dirty. You know, her, uh, her articulation was just awful. And I've really been hoping for a redeeming figure. So in fairness, I am quite excited about this. The articulation looks fantastic. The armor looks really detailed. The paint apps very nice and the visor a really light blue color. Now there are these two Mark V Bs and they are slightly different. The Noble Six variant has a knife holder, which I think separates him more clearly from reach to infinite design. And this figure seems to be like more closely based on the alpha slash beta version of Halo Reach. And Jonathan has some great details about the knees on this figure. Now I can't pretend like this is my law. I'm just going to read it out for you guys. So the Noble Six figure is based on the alpha beta era of Reach Noble Six. That's because he has the FJ Paranees and UA helmet attachment. Before the game released, the FJ Paranees were labeled as default, but then changed to FJ Paranees upon release of the game. And all of Noble Team except Cat and George were depicted with the default Paranees, and they didn't get changed upon release of the game. Which is funny because Cat having the airborne armor doesn't actually have the knee pads that would be required to be an air assault Spartan, which uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So yeah, the helmet seems to be based on the Alpha Beta because the UA attachment in-game comes with a side-mounted helmet sensor in MCC, or in the OG Reach game, it had an actual visor piece stuck to it to match Chief's helmet more. And then the Mark V is used in standard Halo Infinite pattern options and comes with a really nice Halo Infinite sniper rifle. So yeah, guys, this is the Wave 3 Jazzware Spartan collection, and I must say I'm pretty impressed. They included basically three named figures this time, Alpha, Beta, Halo Reach inspired Noble 6. The more I'm looking at it, I do want that Spartan Palmer. I'm going to prioritize getting the World of Halo scale, especially to match my beautiful ghost. But yeah, I definitely need to get this Master Chief if he has a working grapple shot. There is a Master Chief coming out in the new World of Halo scale with a grapple shot as well. It looks like it's working, but it's kind of oversized because to actually have string inside, it has to be massive. But this one looks to scale. The commando rifle looks excellent. So do all of the figures, really. Please do let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to get the Spartan collection? Have you got any of the Spartan collections so far? Hint, hint, Emil and Jerome. And do you prioritize getting the Spartan collection or the World of Halo scale? I've heard good things from both. Obviously, the Spartan collection is more detailed, but the World of Halo has vehicles and a dozen more figures, including enemies, because this six inch is just Spartans. Thanks very much for tuning in today and supporting all these news videos. This was The Domain, signing off. World of Halo, Jazzware, Spartan collection, scales, three and three quarter inch, six inch, which one are you going to buy? I'm, I'm going to buy as many as I can. <laughs> Signing off.